Welcome to the Dentamax Tip of the Week. Today we're going to discuss how to create a simple recall message and send it via email. This is a simple feature that has been in Dentamax for the last couple of years on the advanced version. And you might not be aware of it. And so today we're going to go through the steps and how to do this. Okay. So the first step is to go ahead and click on File in the upper left hand corner of your screen and go down to Program Preferences. Then go on over to the tab Email Settings and then select Recall Reminder Email. Okay. The program, Denimax, comes with a canned little email message. You might want to change this though to make it fit your practice. Okay. So let's go ahead and do this in my little example here. We're going to go ahead and delete out the word you and replace it with the patient's name. So here on the right hand side are your merge fields, fields and you can double click on these to add them. Okay, so I'm going to double click on name. And so instead of saying you, it's going to have the actual name of the patient. Okay, so that maybe in this case, Abby will put in is eligible to come back. Okay, and down here it says please call us, but it doesn't provide a phone number. So please call us at 800-704-8494 to make an appointment. Okay, after we've made our changes, with our new text and our merge fields, go ahead and click on Save Changes. All right, so step one, make your message. We've done that. The next step is to go ahead and send the recall message via email to your patient. To do this, go ahead and click on List at the top of your screen, and then go down to Recall List. Okay. From here, for your recall dates, you got a beginning and an ending date. This is the range that selects patients who are eligible for a recall appointment. So from this date to this date, these are the patients who don't have an appointment already to come back for their cleanings. These are the patients who have fallen out of the system. Um, we'll go ahead and let's go ahead and click on send email reminder for these patients. Okay, pulls up the patient list. And let's maybe just, we want to send an email reminder to Abby Arnett here. Okay, she happens to be 12 years old, and so we'll go ahead and select patient here or deselect patient so that the email goes from Abby to Abby's dad, David. Okay, now the next step is to go ahead and click on send. Okay, now let's pretend like we're the patient and let's go ahead and see the email that was sent. So we'll go ahead and go to our email here, and I will double click. On our latest email and it says we just wanted to remind you that Abby Arnett is eligible and it has our phone number. So this has been your tip of the week. I hope if you have the advanced version of the software that you try it out. If you don't have the advanced version of the software, give us a phone call at this phone number 800-704-8494. We'll see if we can't get you set up.